The school term is about to start again and someone from you guys requested for a digital planner for students. So here is the process on how I made this. If you want more digital planning contents like this one, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell icon so you'll get notified whenever I post new content. Also, don't forget to give this a like and let's begin. Open the Keynote app and create a new presentation. And since I will be using my iPad Pro 12 inch, I'm changing the size of the slides in the document setup. The width is 273 and the height is 204. Let's access the slide layout and I am deleting all the text boxes here for a clean slate. So in the slide layout, I am going to design how our notebook will look like and I want it to be an open notebook and in landscape. I always create and use my digital planner in landscape mode and I always wonder if you prefer a digital planner in landscape or in portrait mode. So let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer so that I can create more process videos for your preferred digital planner setup. Anyway, to make our digital planner look more realistic, add some shadows to the elements. I used rectangles with the rounded corners for the notebook covers, and as for the pages, I used normal rectangles for that. Also, I am adding two of the pages to kind of show that this is somewhat realistic. You can add more pages if you want but I will be settling with two for now just to show the process on how to create this one. This is the basic layout of our slides so let's go to the presentation to start creating the different pages for our student planner. The first page that I am creating is the calendar page. I will be setting this calendar for the month of September but you can of course create and follow this process any month of the year. Also, if you are a student this coming term, I hope this process video is helpful to you and if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. For the calendar in this page, I used the table and I just changed the style of the borders and resized the rows and columns. Also, if your pencil keeps on writing instead of selecting and scrolling, you can go to the Apple Pencil setting in the More option and toggle on the Select and Scroll. I think it is also a great idea to add a space for your monthly goals and the list of stuff you need to study so I added it here. I also added a space for word of encouragement. I remember doing this on my paper planner back when I was in uni just to psych myself especially when I am so overwhelmed or procrastinating a lot. <laughs> Now I am adding a new slide and this is the reason why we set the slide layout first because now we don't need to start at zero every slide that we create. We already have that page and of course the process is now faster. So this page is where we will write down our class schedule or timetable and the classes info. 
Again, I used the table to create the spaces for both and for the glass information, I am leaving it blank for now but stick around until the end so you'll see how this page will be used. The next page will be the course tracker page where your assignments, projects, exams, and other records that you need to keep track of. I added five boxes here for a space for your exam, assignments, class rules, reading logs, and projects. I also added some divisions inside the boxes so you'll have a space where you can write down the time and your scores. You can duplicate this page now if you want to have more pages like this one or you can duplicate this page later on, which is the way I will be doing. The next page that I will be creating is the weekly pages. I added three extra spaces here where you can write down your weekly goals, to-do list, and habit trackers if you want. You can also label your boxes and dates here if you want to further customize the page. I will be using this layout in each of the weeks so I'm just gonna duplicate them for 4 times. If you want to change the layout or add more designs, you can do so. Now let's add the links and let's start from the calendar page. From the calendar page, I want to access the weekly pages from here so I am adding these rectangles. And it's okay that this is currently in color black as we will change the opacity of these pages to zero later on. The link list is in the screen right now for your reference. Also, I just remembered to add extra pages after every week for you to add your notes or journal on, so I just added them. And just gonna check if the links changed to the correct slide after the addition of the slides, and yep, they did, so there is no need to change the links that we already added. The next links that we are going to add are the links which will be available to all of the pages. The upper left one will be linked to the calendar page. The upper right is linked to the class schedule and information page and the middle one is linked to the course tracker then just reduce the opacity to zero and select the three shapes and then cut then let's access the slide layout and let's paste them here then go back to the presentation and as you can see all the slides have the three links that we added to the slide layout easy <laughs> Now for the additional links on our weekly pages, if you have watched my other digital planner creations, I usually add this which are the secret links where you can go to the next weekly page or the previous weekly page. The 
The link list is on the screen right now for your reference. This is the basic setup that I want for the student planner but of course you are open to personalize and add more designs. After that, let's export this and import it to the GoodNotes app. Since I only made a very basic design on the planner, I'm using the GoodNotes app to personalize it more. For the calendar page, I use the pen tool to add the dates and of course use the copy and paste function to make the process faster. I almost always write weirdly if I don't have a guide so I use the squared paper in GoodNotes and wrote the stuff that I want to add then just copied them and pasted on the correct location. So for the class information, I added the name of the subject, the instructor, although I mistakenly wrote instruction, <laughs> sorry about that, and the day and time, the location, email address of the instructor, and other details such as your username and password if you are still attending online classes. In the class schedule, we can use the shape tool to add the periods on what and when the classes will be held. And of course, delete that squared page after to not mess with the planner. For the course tracker, I added the label, which are the exams, the date, and each of the score. The same with the projects, assignments, and assigned reading. I also added an area where you can write down the important class rules just for you to refer any day in the month. For the weekly pages, I use the Procreate app to design the dates, but you can skip this part or you can still use the tools available in the GoodNotes app if you want. Here is the flip through of the digital student planner that we created today. I hope you were able to create your own and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. And if you have any suggestions on what type of digital planner we should create next, comment them down below. Until next time, bye!